comparing quantities using proportion. Introduction In our day-to-day -day activities, we need to compare quantities in some situations. Ratio and percentages are used to compare quantities. Let us consider the following example. In a class, voting was conducted for class monitor. There are 40 students. Among them, Snigda became first mentor by getting 24 votes and Suri became second mentor by getting 16 votes. So, the ratio of votes pulled to Snigda and Suri is 24 is to 16. After simplification, the ratio is 3 is to 2. Inversely, the ratio of votes pulled to Siri and Snigda is 2 is to 3. A ratio is an ordered comparison of two quantities. Golden ratio in the human body. Human beings are no exception to the golden ratio. In fact, our body architecture is one of the most perfect examples of this divine proportion. Consider the following. Height is to length between navel point and foot. Length between shoulder line is to length of the head. Length between fingertip to elbow is to length between breast and elbow. Length between navel point to knee is to length between knee and foot. 1.615 is to 1 is golden ratio. Compound ratio. Sometimes we have to express two ratios as a single ratio. Consider the following example to understand this. Ramaya and Gopalam started a business with an investment of rupees 2000 and rupees 3000 at the end of the year they divided the annual profit obtained as follows ratio of investments equals to 2000 is to 3000 equals to 2 is to 3 investments throughout the year are given below Ratio of their shares equals to 24 is to 36 equals to 2 is to 3. Ratio of time period equals to 1 is to 1 that is 1 year. Ratio of investments is equal to ratio of shares when time period is same. So they will divide the profit in the ratio of their shares. So, annual profit is to be divided in the ratio of 2 is to 3. Now, let us see the different situations occurred in this example. Case 1. Suppose, they both started the business with the same amount of rupees 5000, but Ramaya did business for a period of 12 months and Gopalam for a period of 9 months. Ratio of their investments equals to 5000 is to 5000 equals to 1 is to 1. Ratio of shares equals to 12 is to 9 equals to 4 is to 3. Ratio of time periods equals to 12 is to 9 equals to 4 is to 3. Their investments is same. So, they share the profit in the ratio of their shares, that is, ratio of their time period. Case 2. Further, suppose Ramaya invested an amount of rupees 2000 for 12 months and Gopalam invested an amount of rupees 3000 for 9 months. Ramaya invested less amount but for more period. Gopalam invested more amount but 
for less period. Here, we have to give importance for their investments as well as their investment periods. Ratios of investments equals to 2000 is to 3000 equals to 2 is to 3. Ratio of time periods equals to 12 is to 9 equals to 4 is to 3. Here, the ratio of investments is 2 is to 3 and the ratio of time period is 4 is to 3. So, the ratio of shares will be as follows. Ratio of shares equals to investment into time period is to investment into time period equals to 2 into 4 is to 3 is to 3 equals to 8 is to 9. Hence, they divide the annual profit in the ratio of 8 is to 9. There is a relation between ratio of investment and time period and ratio of shares. The ratio of shares can be written as 8 is to 9 equals to 2 is to 3 is to 4 is to 3. That is, product of antecedents and product of consequences of the ratios 2 is to 3 and 4 is to 3. Two simple ratios are expressed like a single ratio as the ratio of antecedents to product of consequences. And we call it as compound ratio of the given two simple ratios, that is, ratios are compounded by multiplying together the fractions which denote them. If A is to B and C is to D are any two ratios, then their compound ratio is A by B into C by D equals to AC by BD. That is, AC is to BD. Percentage One way to compare quantities is to change them into percentages. A percentage compares a number to 100. The word percent means per every 100 or out of every 100. 100% equals to 100 by 100. It is also a fraction with denominator 100. Percentage is number of parts out of 100. So, the denominator is to be made 100 for which we are multiplying both numerator and denominator with 100. We can use percentage as a common scale. Previously, we compared the number of votes polled to Snigta and Seri by ratio. We can compare the same by percentages also. Let us see how percentages are calculated. Total number of votes in a class equals to 40. Number of votes polled to Snigta equals to 24. Number of votes polled to Seri equals to 16. Percentage of votes polled to Snigta equals to 24 by 40 into 100 equals to 3 into 20 equals to 60 percent. Since all the students voted, percentage of votes for Snigda plus percentage of votes for Seri equals to 100 percent. 60 percent plus percentage of votes for Seri equals to 100 percent. Percentage of votes for Siri equals to 100% minus 60% equals to 40%. Thus, percentage of votes for Siri equals to 